Hello there, Chris P. Williams here. I hope you're well. I've got another tutorial for you on Affinity Photo. And today we're going to look at blending images using the Blend Range tool. And to do this, I'm going to demonstrate it by blending these two images together. You can see one was taken to favor the shadows and the other was taken to favor the highlights. And to get started, I'm just going to click on my shadow image and I'm just going to click on my background layer, press Ctrl and C to copy or Command and C on a Mac. And I'm going to go over to my highlight image and I'm going to press Ctrl and V. There we are, I now have my shadow image on top of my highlight image. So I'll just rename this one Shadow. Okay, now all I need to do is making sure my shadow layer is selected. I'm going to click on this little cog at the top right corner of the layers palette. And this brings up my blend options. And I'll just move it to the side so you can see what's happening. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to tell Affinity Photo that I want to subtract certain pixels from this image based on their brightness and luminosity. To do this, I'm simply going to grab this node on the right hand side of the source layer ranges and I'm going to drop it down to the bottom corner. And now you can see what's happened is the highlights from the image below have been allowed to shine through on the image above. If I turn off that layer, for instance, you can see by these squares which parts of the image have been removed from the shadow layer. Now I'll just reset that filter for now and show you that you can achieve a similar effect by using the underlying composition ranges as well. But in this case, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to tell Affinity Photo that I want the highlights from the image beneath to shine through. So this is only affecting which pixels come through again from the bottom layer, but it's not actually affecting the shadow layer. If I slide this left node down, you can see it allows the shadows from the image beneath to come through, but that's not what I want in this case. So I can lift that and I can go to this node on the right, the white one, and drop that down. And you can see this now allows the highlights from the image beneath to come through. Now they're not coming through as much as I'd like. So in order to boost that blue a little bit more, I'm just going to add a further node in the middle and I'm going to drag it towards the left corner. And you can see my highlights are now getting that much darker. If you tick and then tick the linear box here, it's worth doing to see because all too often one or the other will achieve better results. In this case, I think the linear off option has given me the best result. So now if I turn off the blend option palette, we can now look at boosting this image further again using the blend options. So I'm just going to go to my adjustments, which is the small circle here with the white and black hemispheres. And I'm going to click on my hue, saturation and luminance adjustment, HSL. And I'm going to boost my colors. I'll probably over boost them now just to demonstrate for you. And you can see it's had an overall effect on all of the colors in the image. But each of these adjustment layers also have blend options attached to them. So if I click on the cog with the HSL layer selected, I get my blend options. And now I can lower my shadows on my source, which is telling Affinity Photo to affect the actual HSL layer. And you can see if you look at this hydrant here and perhaps the yellow rag here, the saturation in my shadows is decreasing while sleeving the saturation in my highlights untouched. So that brings me to the end of this tutorial. I hope you found it useful and I hope it helps you make better pictures. Thanks very much for watching.